Could Alpha Zero beat the latest version of Stockfish? That is the question I'll attempt to answer in this video. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with Alpha Zero, it was a revolutionary AI program developed by Google's DeepMind back in 2017, which taught itself to play chess, only being given the rules of the game, and within four hours became the strongest chess playing entity on the planet. It played a 100 game match with Stockfish 8, one of the strongest programs at the time, and Alpha Zero won the match convincingly with 28 wins, 72 draws, and zero losses. But it was the way that it won some of these games by playing what were considered highly unconventional, some even saying alien looking chess moves, which really shook up the chess world. It looked like a brand new kind of chess played by some strange new AI creature. However, the hype didn't last, partly because DeepMind quickly retired the AlphaZero program from playing chess. I think it played some more games in 2018 just to solidify its dominance, but then that was it. But the games that it played remain and are still revered by some as representing the pinnacle of chess performance. However, the computer engines that continue to play have been constantly improving. We now have Stockfish version 15, which is significantly stronger than Stockfish 8, the version that was dominated by AlphaZero. To show you just how much Stockfish has improved, let's go to the Swedish Chess Association's website, which is run by some people who test and rate computer programs by playing them against each other. So if we look at the rating of Stockfish 8, which was once near the top of the list, we see that it has dropped to the 20th place with a rating of 3423. Now let's look at the current top of the list. Looks like Stockfish 15 hasn't even made the list yet, but Stockfish 13 is rated 3577, which is 154 rating points higher than Stockfish 8. Interestingly, we see that Stockfish 14 is a bit lower in the number 5 spot, but I think it's safe to say that Stockfish 15 is in the same ballpark, probably being about 150 rating points above Stockfish 8. So based on this rating difference, what kind of results should we expect if Stockfish 15 played against Stockfish 8? The expected result, based on the ratings, is that Stockfish 15 should score about 70% on average, meaning out of 100 possible points, wins being one point, draws one half point, and losses zero, Stockfish 15 should score about 70 points in a 100 game match. In Alpha Zero's match with Stockfish 8, it only scored 64 points out of 100. So according to this data, Stockfish 15 might even be slightly stronger than Alpha Zero. But is there any way to test that? Well, we can use Stockfish 15 to analyze some of the games in which Alpha Zero defeated Stockfish 8 to see where its analysis differs or agrees with Stockfish 8 versus Alpha Zero. So let's go ahead and do that. We will now look at the first 10 Alpha Zero wins that were originally released to the public in 2017 from its original 100 game match with Stockfish 8. Okay, here we go with game number one. Stockfish 8 has the white pieces, Alpha Zero is playing black. And you can see we have Stockfish 15 running at the bottom of the screen here to give its opinion on what is happening. So E4, and we have the symmetrical king's pawn opening, and it's interesting to see what kinds of openings Alpha Zero chooses because they had no human input as to what the opening theory should be. It was just given the rules of the game and told to come up with its own strategies, and it likes the Berlin defense. And we have a pretty equal position, according to Stockfish 15. If you look at the bottom of the screen, it's 0, .00. Until this moment up here, where Stockfish 8 plays A5, and you can see Stockfish 15 immediately doesn't like this move, and it agrees with Alpha Zero's response. Knight to E6, to give Black somewhat of an advantage. Maybe not necessarily winning, but maybe around a half a pawn or a little more. And so Black has a comfortable advantage for a while, but it sort of dissipates over the next 10 moves or so. I think up around this point, it's getting down. At some points, it's under a half a pawn in Black's favor, according to Stockfish 15. But then there's this moment here where Stockfish 8 decides to play the move Queen takes C7. You can see Stockfish 15 does not recommend that move. It's saying you need to play F5 or King G2 because it realizes that after Stockfish 8's move, Queen takes C7, it understands here, you can see its evaluation shift, Black has a big advantage now after Bishop to H3, which is Alpha Zero's move. So Stockfish 15 and Alpha Zero both agree on that move. 
hitting this rook, and so the rook moves, and then alpha zero plays rook d7 here, stockfish 15 agrees, and for the next few moves, queen e5 by white, queen takes e5 is alpha zero's move, you can see stockfish 15 continues to agree with alpha zero, I don't know how long this goes on, they agree here, rook a7, at least from the position after queen takes c7, alpha zero's play and stockfish 15's play would have been identical, at least up until this moment where black is just totally winning according to stockfish 15, getting close to two pawns in black's favor. So it seems that in that first game, stockfish 15 and alpha zero are on pretty equal footing as far as the way that they're going to defeat stockfish eight. So let's go to game two. Okay, here we are at game two. Alpha zero again has the black pieces. We again have the king's pawn opening and another Berlin defense. And I'm not sure at what point this deviates. A lot of the same moves are played in the opening. And it's pretty equal again. And I'm just going to jump ahead to the moment where Stockfish 8 goes wrong according to Stockfish 15. Right here. Black is doing a bit better. Stockfish 15 recommends that you should maybe play you know, knight to b1, king to g1. Okay, after king to g1, that was stockfish 8's move, and stockfish 15 liked that move initially, but after a little bit of analysis, it's saying that black has over a one pawn advantage. I think at this point, after stockfish 15 analyzes longer, it comes up with rook d to e1. So it takes it a couple minutes in that position to improve on stockfish 8's play. But let's see, after king to g1, if it agrees with alpha zero's continuation. Bishop f8, knight b1 from stockfish 8, and then it says yes, knight d6, which is alpha zero's move, is correct. And after knight c3, it likes bishop h6 or queen g6. Bishop h6 is what alpha zero played. Okay, now it likes rook a8, that's alpha zero's move. So in that game, it pretty much agreed with alpha zero. Back here where stockfish 8 went wrong, it took a little bit of analysis for Stockfish 15 to realize that King G1 was not a good move. That was its move initially. But I'm guessing on better hardware than mine, and with at least a minute to think, it probably would have played something superior to King G1. Although Black was already a little bit better in this position. So moving on to game three. This time Alpha Zero is white. And we have this opening here where Alpha Zero likes to sacrifice this pawn. I think it does it multiple times in this match. It likes this position. And um, I'm gonna go ahead to the point where it started to get a big advantage here. Just go really fast here through the moves just so you can see them. And we got this moment here where Stockfish 8 plays Knight to C7. Stockfish 15 is saying you can play King to F8 and White's a little better, but you might be okay. But watch what happens after knight c7. Oh, stockfish 15 doesn't like that move at all. Over one pawn in white's favor. And it says rook d6 is the next move, which is what alpha 0 plays. Knight e6 from stockfish, 8, and then it recommends alpha 0's move here, bishop b3. So you can see that stockfish 15 is beating stockfish 8 with pretty much the same moves as alpha 0. After queen h8, both programs like queen to b4. And then there was another moment in this game, right here I believe, where stockfish 8 played rook to f8, and stockfish 15 just thinks that's a horrendous game losing move immediately. And it recommends alpha zero's move queen to f4, and then after a5 it recommends g4. And so it's beating stockfish 8 pretty much in the same way that alpha zero did. Bishop takes d5 here, yep, both programs agree. And it's kind of a miserable position here that was talked about a lot where this queen is just entombed and can't ever get back into the game. So it was one of the games that proved to everyone just how brilliant Alpha Zero was. But as you can see, Stockfish 15 played the same move, so it's just as brilliant in the way it punishes Stockfish 8. Game 3, Alpha Zero is white. Alpha Zero is white for the rest of the games, by the way. The key moment in this game is where Stockfish 8 plays C4 which Stockfish 15 doesn't like, and it agrees with Alpha Zero's response, which was Bishop E2, giving White a big advantage. Stockfish 15 recommended C takes D4, it looks like, or B5 was a lot better than the C4, which just demonstrated a positional misunderstanding by Stockfish 8. Next game, I'm just gonna go right to the key position here. 
its stockfish 8 to move, and it chooses knight to b7. As you can see, stockfish 15 hates that move. It recommended bishop c4 instead. And let's see if stockfish 15 will punish stockfish 8 exactly the same way alpha 0 did. After knight b7, it's saying knight e4 is the move. Alpha 0 agrees, and that's what was played in the game. After queen g6, h4, stockfish 15 and alpha 0 agree on that. And after this, h5, which is what was played in the game. After queen h7, queen g4 or bishop d2. Yep, but it's now deciding queen g4 is the best move, and it's what alpha 0 played. So, another game where Stockfish 15 punishes Stockfish 8 exactly the same way as Alpha 0. Moving on. Okay, we'll go right to the key position, and it's another Knight to B7 mistake in a similar position, I believe, because back here in the previous game, I think Knight B7 was played here, and that was the mistake in the game we just looked at. But now the only difference is a few moves get played, and then Knight B7 is played here, and it's again a mistake. Again, Stockfish 15 says don't play knight b7. It's recommending queen to d3. So let's check out this next game. Since those last two games seem to be pretty similar, we get this position. Alpha 0 is white, of course, and Stockfish 8 plays c4. Looks familiar, doesn't it? Stockfish 15 doesn't like that move at all. It says you should have played rook f to e8. After c4, Stockfish 15 likes Alpha 0's move there. It likes f4, which is alpha 0's move. It likes queen d2, which is alpha 0's move. It likes knight c3, which is alpha 0's move. So, yet another game where stockfish 15 would beat stockfish 8 in much the same way as alpha 0. Moving on. In this next game, stockfish 8 goes wrong with queen to d8, according to stockfish 15, which says you needed to play g6 here. After queen d8, Stockfish 15 is not recommending bishop e4, which is alpha 0's move. Let's see if it likes bishop e4, though. Okay, it likes that move all right. It's not that much different from its top choice in, in the evaluation, so I'm assuming there was a lot of good moves for white there. Yeah, so this one, Stockfish 15 is differing a little bit from what alpha 0 liked to play, but it agrees that alpha 0 is the winning side. Okay, next game. Here we go. Okay, this game seemed to be one where Alpha Zero gradually developed an advantage. I don't think I could find a clear blunder for Stockfish 8 in this game, but at this moment right here, the balance started to tip in Alpha Zero's favor when Stockfish 8 played Bishop B4 check, according to Stockfish 15. It didn't really like that move very much, and the evaluation starts to shift in White's favor. Stockfish 15 was recommending Queen to A5 check with a dead even position. Okay, so we'll just go ahead and go to the next game. Okay, I believe this is the most famous of all the games that were initially published because it's a brilliant piece sacrifice by Alpha Zero, who again has the white pieces. And this game was talked about a lot because people said this was the future of chess They'd never seen play like this before to sacrifice a piece like this just to get much better activity with the remaining pieces. Yes, this is the point here where Alpha Zero could have played Knight to G4 right here instead of moving the Rook. Knight to G4. This is Stockfish 15's first choice, but you can see that what Alpha Zero played, Rook E1 here, sacrificing this Knight, is Stockfish 15's second choice, and it's pretty close to the evaluation of its first choice. So Stockfish 15 realizes, oh, and now it changes its mind. Stockfish 15 is saying that Rook to E1, sacrificing the Knight, is the best move. So this move that everyone freaked out about and said that only an AI program like Alpha Zero could ever find, it's a move that is preferred by Stockfish 15 now. Apparently it's not very hard for Stockfish 15 to find because it decided on that move in like less than a minute. Rook to e1. And Stockfish 15 says, yeah, it's fine to give up the knight. It agrees with Alpha Zero that it's got much better activity. The problem is getting these pieces into play is just way too slow for Stockfish 8. Now there's one more position I want to talk about because I just remembered there's one move that everybody thought was so incredible that Alpha Zero played right here where it decided, let me get Stockfish running again, 
alpha zero with the white pieces decided to take on d2 not with the queen not with the knight but with the king giving up the right to castle and everyone said oh it's so groundbreaking the idea to hide the king here on e3 where it's pretty safe but as you can see stockfish 15 likes that move immediately in like under a second it says yep that's the best move take with the king and let's see if it agrees to put the king on e3 after this actually stockfish 15 is saying king to e2 interesting let's see if it likes king e3 though huh it doesn't think king e3 is quite as good but that was the big deal taking with the king apparently it's not a big deal anymore stockfish 15 found it immediately now here's a thought maybe the development of stockfish was influenced by these games maybe they put these key positions in for stockfish to analyze and then tweaked the settings so that it agreed with alpha zero just assuming alpha zero was the best I don't know if that was done but even if it was done all's fair in love and chess so any way you can improve your program's performance is is fair in my book aside from just completely plagiarizing code or something like that so anyway I hope you all thought that was interesting I'm sorry if I damaged the myth of alpha zero a little bit but it really seems that stockfish 15 is very close if not superior to alpha zero at this point so please subscribe to the channel there's going to be a lot more cool interesting unique videos like this coming out soon